Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, Cube Roots and Fractional Exponents. Example 1. Example 1, we need the cubed root of 27. Uh, the cubed root of 27 is very similar to the square root. In the square root, we just needed a number times itself. This time, we need a number times itself three times. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. The cubed root of 8 is 2. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, so the cubed root of 27 is 3. When we worked with square roots, uh, I made this little table, and I make this table whenever I'm working with square roots, because it, it really makes it easy. You don't have to do much thinking. If you need to know a square root, you just look at this. Well, I've made a similar one for cubed roots. And uh, this really makes things simple because you don't have to think if you've got them all written out like this. You just look at it and know. So the cubed root of 27 is 3. Now uh, b part is the cubed root of negative 216. So the cubed root of 216 is 6. and we need a number that would multiply times itself three times as negative 216, and that's negative 6. It's a little different than square roots. We didn't have negatives inside because it was impossible. With cubed roots, you have three of them. And a negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a negative is a negative. So that's the answer to B. C is the negative cubed root of 8. Well, this negative really doesn't have anything to do with the cubed root. This, uh, the cubed root of 8 is 2. And uh, negative just changes the sign. So if I simplify this, this answer is 2. And then uh, th that makes it negative. So the answer is negative 2. And D is very similar, except it's uh, negative 512. And the cubed root of 512 is 8. So I'm going to cross this off for a minute so that we see that this answer is negative 8. Because negative 8 times itself three times is negative 512. And this negative sign makes this into a positive 8.